cosets and Lagrange theorem. First cosets. Let G be a group and H be a subgroup of G. For any A belongs to G, define A H equals to A H such that H belongs to H. This is called left coset of H in G containing A. Whereas H A equals to H A H belongs to capital H is called right coset of H in G containing A. If we operate element A from the left of H, then we say this is left coset and similarly if we operate A from to right, then we say this is right coset. For example, we take simple example. Let Z4 equals to 0, 1, 2, 3. This is group of integer modulo. Now let H is a subgroup of Z4 which contains suppose two element. Coset for 0, 0 plus H equals to this is left coset. 0 plus 0 here plus means this operation addition modulo 4 now 0 plus 2 that is 0 and 2 1 plus h that is 1 plus 0 1 and 1 plus 2 3 similarly 2 plus h 2 plus 0 2 2 plus 2 4 but for addition modulo is 4 that is 0 now third 3 plus 0 3 3 plus 2 5 but addition modulo is 4 and here is 1 yahan se hum kya dekh sakte 0 plus h equals to 2 equals to this is same as 2 plus H. This is left coset and similarly 1 plus H is same as 3 plus H. This example may hum dekh sakte coset need not to be subgroup because 1 plus H equals to 1 comma 3 a and 3 plus h भी 1 comma 3 है लेकिन यहाँ पे 1 plus 3 करने पे 0 आ रहा है यानी but 0 is not in the set so closure property does not hold therefore this cannot be form a group ये तो हुआ first second हम क्या notice कर रहे हैं इसमें जब 0 plus 1 sorry 0 जब 0 प्लस एच हो रहा है सेट जो बन रहा है हमारा 0 कॉमा 2 बन रहा है एंड 2 प्लस एच भी सेम वही सेट दे रहा है सिमिलरली जैसे 1 प्लस एच हम कर रहे हैं तो 1 कॉमा 3 आ रहा है तो सेट में एलिमेंट एक 3 भी है तो 3 प्लस एच करने पे भी सेम कोसेट की प्रॉपर्टी के थ्रू हम समझेंगे ये कैसे हो रहा है प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कोसेट्स let H be a subgroup of G and A comma B belongs to G and A element. Let H be a subgroup of G 
and any element a comma b belongs to g then these properties are very important we prove these all properties number one a belongs to a s since a it can be written as a e it always belongs to a s since e belongs to h because a s have a capital h has a small h types element so this is proof second a h equals to h if and only if a belongs to h let a h equals to h then we write a belongs to h by 1 since both are equal so a belongs to h conversely let a belongs to s then v to so then v to so h equals to a h assume a belongs to a h here we are going to so two set are equal so we have same rule a belongs to a h equals to a e equals to a belongs to h because mm, imply a h is a subset of h number one now let h belongs to h and a belongs to h it imply yeah a inverse as belongs to s since h is subgroup of g thus h equals to e h we can write e h now it equal to a a inverse h so a a inverse h it also belongs to a h why so because a inverse h belongs to a h here h is subset of a h this is second by first and second we say h equals to a h now second is done third let cosets are either identical or disjoint let a h intersection b h is not equal to phi then we have to show a h equals to b h so this is not equal to phi then it must contain at least one element say x and let h1 h2 belongs to capital H such that x belongs to a h1 and x belongs to b h2 now a equals to we can write a equals to x h1 inverse but x can be written as b h2 h1 inverse by associative b h2 h1 inverse here so a h thus a h equals to b h 2 h 1 inverse h b since 
एस टू एच वन इन बस बिलोंग्स टू एच इट इम्प्लाई एस टू एच वन इन बस एच इक्वस टू एच दस वी कैन राइट दिस इक्वस टू एच दियर फोर ए एच इक्वस टू बी एच इफ ए एच इक्वस टू बी एच इट इम्प्लाई ए एच बी एच कैन नॉट बी फाइव फोर्थ ए एच इक्वस टू बी एच ऑपरेटिंग ए इनवर्स बाय बोथ साइड वी कैन राइट ए इनवर्स ए एच इक्वस टू ए इनवर्स बी एच सेंड दिस इज ई आइडेंटिटी सो एच इक्वस टू बी एच इट इम्प्लाई ए इनवर्स बी बिलोंग्स टू एच बाय प्रॉपर्टी टू नाउ फिफ्थ cardinality of ah equals to cardinality of bh so number of element in this set equals to number of element in this set so for this v to so there is a map f such that from ah to bh is 1 1 and on to for this we define f from ah to bh such that f of ah equals to bh now we to say f is 1 1 and on to for 1 1 f of a h one equals to f of a h two. This imply b h one equals to b h two. Operating by b inverse on both side from the left h one equals to. चलो लिख लेते b inverse b v inverse b h two. It imply by associative. So h one equals to h two by operating by operating a from the both side a h one equals to a h two it imply f is one one now for on to on to क्या होता है for a h equals to h b let h b equals to x then we can write h equals to x b inverse and a h equals to a x b inverse so f of a h ki value x b inverse equals to x b inverse and b Equals to x b inverse b. This is x. This is f of a x b inverse. For any x belongs to h b. This is h b. It implies that f is on to. Therefore, a h cardinality of a h equals to cardinality of b h a h equals to h a if and only if a h a inverse equals to h any yani left coset equals to right coset since a h equals to h a by operating a inverse from the right so we can write h a h equals to H. If we go, so this is proved. Now, seven. A H is a subgroup of G. If and only if A belongs to H. Since A H equals to H, we know 
if and only if a belongs to H from the two. Since H is subgroup of G, it implies because H equals to AH, so AH is a subgroup of G if and only if A belongs to H. Hence, the theorem is completely proved. ये सारे प्रॉपर्टी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है जिनका यूज हम आगे जाके करेंगे इसके बाद हम लेग्रांस थियोरम पढ़ेंगे एब्स्ट्रैक्ट एल्जेब्रा के लिए फर्स्ट माइलस्टोन स्टोन कहा गया है तो उसके लिए हमें ये बेसिक प्रॉपर्टी जो है कोसेट की पता होनी चाहिए